This is a 20 watt LED, COB LED, that is a chip on board LED. I will show you some technique of powering this LED or any DC load. Before that, I will show you something. This is the positive terminal of the LED and this is the negative terminal of the LED. I will power this LED using a 12 volt power source. You can see when I am connecting the positive and the negative to the LED, the LED will light up. You might be wondering what is the peculiarity of that. It, this is quite normal. Kindly hold on. I am coming to the point. This is a BMS which is using TP4056IC and this is used for charging the lithium ion battery. I will zoom this a bit more. I will explain you the terminals of this BMS. These are the ba battery terminals and these two are the output pin and this is the positive line in that is input for charging and this is the negative line. We can give input to this charging module either through this mi micro USB port or through this positive terminal and negative terminal that is 5 volt. When you are giving the input supply and if the polarity is changing then this chip will be damaged. Similar things will be happening to here too. This is a 14 channel RF receiver circuit. This is also working with a DC power source. So polarity is very important. This is the positive terminal of the supply and that this is a negative terminal of the supply. And if the terminal po polarity is changing and we are powering it using this DC source and if the polarity is changing, this chip will be damaged, this one will be damaged, this one and this one will be damaged because these chips are working with a uh, 5 voltage only. Uh, so the LED will not be damaged but all other ch uh, so IC chips will be damaged. We can avoid this by connecting a diode in series with the uh, power supply. If the polarity is changing, then the circuit will not work. That's it. We can reconnect it to use by changing the polarity and the circuit will be working. This is the shortcut way to avoid the polarity changing issue in any circuit. This problem can be avoided by using these four diodes. This is a simple technique. So many people might be knowing this, but still I will explain this to you. I am going to make a bridge rectifier using these four diodes. I will come back after making this. This is the bridge rectifier and I have made it this using 1 and 4007 diode, rectifier diode. This rectifier diode is capable of carrying 1 ampere. If you want to ca carry more ampere, you can make use of 6 ampere diodes or 10 ampere diodes and so on. If you are making the bridge using a 10 ampere diode, then you don't need to worry about anything up to 10 ampere load. Now I will connect this bridge to this 20 watt LED. I have given the circuit diagram of the bridge at the end of this video. Now I have connected the positive output of the bridge to the positive terminal of the LED and the negative output of the bridge to the negative terminal of the LED. Now I will connect the 12 volt power supply to the input of the bridge rectifier. Please watch carefully. I am not thinking about the polarity of the supply, I am just connecting the power supply to the input of the bridge rectifier. You can see the LED is lighting. Now I will change the input power supply or polarity of the power supply. You can see still the LED is lighting. I can change it, still it is lighting. And I will connect the terminals to the input of the LED. And you can see when I am connecting the positive terminal to the positive terminal of the LED, it is lighting. And if I am reversing it, the LED is not lighting. So we cannot test this since this is an LED, the uh, LED is not getting damaged. But if I am testing this using an IC chip, the IC chip will be damaged. For, so for showing this to you, I can only use an LED for that. That is why I am using this LED for to show you how the polarity change is working with a bridge rectifier. There is a disadvantage of using this one because we are using diodes so when a diode is getting forward biased a 0.7 voltage drop will be happened across the diode so if you are using a silica germanium diode it will be 0.3 before that i will explain you how this circuit is working when we are giving a positive supply here and negative supply to here then this diode will become forward biased and the current will flow through this wire and through the led and through the negative supply and back through this diode and similarly when we are changing the polarity then this diode will, will become forward biased and still the current will flow through the positive supply and through the LED and back 
to uh, negative through this diode so whatever is the input polarity the output will be output polarity is constant that's what we need but the disadvantage is when connecting the post uh, input terminals two diodes will be forward biased for completing the circuit two diodes become forward biased that means 0.7 into 2 that is 1.4 voltage will be dropped across the two diodes that means if, if you want to give 12 volt to the load then you have to give 12 plus 1.4 volt that is 13.4 volt to, to the input then only you will get 12 volt to the in the load i believe that you can understand this scenario similarly uh, if you are using this uh, bms till here also you have to give 5 plus 1.4 volt that is 6.4 volt as the input in order to avoid the polarity issue when you are connecting the bridge rectifier to any circuit then it, there will not be any problem of uh, damaging any chip or circuit because of the change in the polarity here also the same issue is there uh, because uh, when we are connecting the uh, bridge rectifier to the input of the circuit definitely the chip will not go because the polarity issue we have uh, just now resolved but the problem is the this circuit is working using a 3.7 volt battery if you are giving a 3.7 to this bridge 3.7 minus 1.4 volt that means the circuit is working with a 2.3 volt which is not enough for working this circuit so please keep this in in your mind while adding the bridge rectifier as the input polarity resolver if you like this video please click like button please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this that will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you this is tech insert signing off see you in another video till then goodbye and please take care